Hello Astronomy 151 students. It is time for a little bit of a lesson in basic optics. We're just going to take a quick look at exactly what telescopes, different types of telescopes, and different types of glass surfaces do to the light. So for that we're going to turn on our little laser light box here and I hope the camera brings us into focus. There we go. Alright, so here we've got our our laser. Let's go ahead and kick that up to five. Now basically, you get a lens, different lenses are going to do different things to the light. This is a convex lens. It's curved. If you look at the center line of the, of the glass piece itself, both surfaces are curved away from the center. And you can see that the overall effect of a convex lens is that the light is bent down towards the middle. Now one, this is the, and again this is what refracting telescopes use. They're just using this to bend the light down. Usually your eyepiece is going to be somewhere over here. Now one of the effects of a refracting telescope is the images are upside down. I'm going to show you very quickly why. Let's say this is me standing and my head's up here and my feet are down here. Well, that means over on the left side, my feet are going to be up top and my head's going to be down bottom. Let me show you why. Here's the light from my feet right here, this bottom light. Take a look at the left side and watch what happens when I cover this up. See which one disappeared. same way over here the light that's coming in from my head is actually going to appear on the bottom on the left side. Quick term, remember we talked about focal length. Focal length is the distance from the center of your lens or your mirror to the point where all light converges. So this right here, if I measure the distance from this spot to the center, that would be physically what the focal length is. Now this is a convex lens, lens meaning that the light passes all the way through. Let's take a quick look at another type of lens just for fun. This is concave. The curvature of the glass is inward towards the center on both sides. You can see here the light is bent out away from the center. Telescopes and eyepieces use a combination of convex and concave lenses at different points. We're not going to get into a whole lot of detail there. I just thought you'd want to see that. Now, every material has its own ability to bend light. It's called the index of refraction. So basically, different materials are going to bend the light by different amounts. To show that, I have a little... Con convex lens here. You can see that it brings the light out here and focuses it at this spot. Now I know you can't see the numbers here, but as far as where I've placed this number-wise, that's right around four and a half centimeters. Different materials bend light in different amounts. So we're going to replace this glass with water. And I'm going to bring it down to three lights. There we go. And again, I'm, you can't see this over here, but my lens is placed in the same location over here. Now instead of four and a half, I'm way out here by about 5.7. So this is bending the light by a smaller amount than the glass was. Because it was bent less, it took more distance for these things to come together. So those are convex and concave lenses. The other thing we're going to throw into the mix here is a mirror. 
I hope. With a mirror, as in a reflecting telescope, all of the light is reflected, none of it passes through, none of it is transmitted through the glass or other material, and the light is directed off to the side. Basically what's happening in a reflecting telescope is the light comes in from the heavens, let's kick it back up to five just for fun, the light comes in from the heavens, imagine that this is curved instead of flat piece of glass, all this light would be reflected back up here. And then what Sir Isaac Newton did is he put this little diagonal mirror in. Remember when we looked at that in the other video, or when you look at that in the other video on the reflecting telescope, this is what the secondary mirror does. It simply bounces the light off to the side. And you know down here would be where we place the eyepiece. So this is just a little bit of the basics of optics. This is what telescopes are designed around, are these simple principles of reflection, refraction. You also saw what the focal length looks like, and you also saw that different materials will bend light by different amounts. I hope this has been helpful. This is Mr. Stockbridge signing off from the Optics Lab.